Tanner. 7 News is your local election headquarters. Tuesday is primary election day in Ohio, but at least in this area, it's a very small event. In Belmont County, there are no contested candidate races and only a few issues. So only 17 precincts out of the 70 will actually be open. But there's a difference that voters need to be aware of. Voter ID requirements have changed dramatically. In the past, anyone who didn't have a driver's license could show a utility bill or a bank statement or, pay, or a pay stub as proof of residency. Now, if you don't have a driver's license, you'll need either a state ID card, a passport, or a military ID to vote. If you don't have acceptable form of identification on election day or early voting, you can vote provisionally. Uh, but that still requires that you show us a valid form of identification. You have four days after the election to provide us with that valid form of identifications. Uh, with the new laws changing, uh, it, you are allowed to go to the BMV now and get a state-issued identification card. In Belmont County, there is a BMV office in Bridgeport and in Barnesville. It's unlikely that they'll be able to get your state ID card ready for you in four days, but they can give you an interim documentation that you can take back to the election board. Now here's another change. They've stopped allowing early voting on the day before election day, so you won't be able to vote on Monday, but this weekend they are open on Saturday from 